close those windows i've got seagulls uh squawking everywhere hello and welcome to the channel so for those who have seen my last video you would have known i've been uh, decorating all of last week and part of this week but i've managed to sneak out where am i well i'm in the glorious north wales land dudno more specifically i'm actually sat on the great orm the great thing about the great orm you've got beautiful stunning locations all the way around it's a full 360 degree view for those of you who haven't been, it's well worth the car ride all the way up. I wouldn't suggest walking. Sometimes there's a tram, but it seems as if the tram's got some maintenance work going on at the moment. All the cars are all parts on the track, which is probably a clear indication it's not working. But there's a load of maintenance men around on the track and, and probably just getting it ready for summer. I've got here a little bit later than normally would have liked to have done. But uh, yeah, it's currently half past two. Um, so I'm going to set up base um, back in the town. I'm going to take a few images of where the pier is and sort of stick around that location. And hopefully we might be able to get quite a nice sunset. Come and join me, let's get set up and see what we can get. Well, I've just had a bit of an argument with a pain display meter. So um, yeah, I've just had to park further down the road because uh, it wouldn't accept my registration plate. Really, really strange. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm parked in the, uh, I'm parked just on the seafront now on the promenade. So I'm gonna get out of the car, have a walk back to where all the, uh, the, the um, what do you call it? The pier, the pier goes through, you've got all the, uh, all the beach and stuff. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna see what we can get. Now on the way over here, the, um, the, the, the clouds are really quite thick and quite heavy. But since I've been here, they've kind of blown away. So leaving quite good gaps of, of decent sunlight really. So fingers crossed, we could be in for a decent sunset. So I've done the car here, just on the side of the road. We're gonna have a look now, see what we can get. And um, yeah, hopefully there'll be something to be had here. Absolutely love stony beaches. They're an absolute pig to walk on, but the sound that the sea makes when it's uh, crashing against the water, oh, so relaxing, so peaceful. Gosh, this is extremely difficult to walk on. I'm gonna head back to the promenade. I wonder why I was the only one doing it.
So I'm about halfway and I've just taken a little bit of shelter because the wind started to, uh, to pick up again. One of my vlogs with some, uh, some heavy wind on, honestly. So I've just been playing around on this uh, jetty with the first image so just to start talking the wind starts to uh, build up again uh, but yeah I've just been uh, taking my first image here just to the jetty just onto the pier um, so hopefully that's come out okay. It feels absolutely fantastic being here today there's so much activity going on yes it's cold yes it's windy but uh, yeah there's just such a massive mix of people that are here there's loads of photographers there's a couple of vloggers further on don't know who they are didn't introduce myself because I'm actually busy at work whilst uh, I went past but uh, yeah it's just sort of a real mixed culture here the sound of the water against the beach is absolutely fantastic you've got a few uh, performance cars driving through the town but we've also got some uh, some jets that are flying over as well I can just hear in the distance so uh, yeah the actual mix of noises and, and sort of atmosphere here yeah it's really quite nice so it's currently quarter past three so I'm gonna just spend a little bit of time just having a bit of a walk around uh, just waiting for the golden hour and for the uh, for the tide to come out it's a little bit higher than I thought it was going to be um, but yeah I've, you know you can't, <laughs> you can't control the tide I guess so yeah I'm just gonna have a bit of a walk along the pier um, if I see some uh, some coffee along there I'll get some coffee as well but uh, yeah it's just great being out in the Sun it's uh, certainly better than decorating
the sun's going to set and it's going to uh, the sunset's going to hit the pier quicker than I thought. I've just walked back now as well and they've closed the main gate to uh, to get to where I want to be so uh, the race is on but not to worry I'm going to walk my way around now I've got to get to the back of the Grand Hotel work the way back and uh, yeah get down on the beach now it's quite shaded where I want to be so I might be able to get some longer exposures the light's still quite harsh so uh, yeah with the harsh light on the pier uh, and then the um, sea in the uh, in the shade should be able to get this sort of shot I want so uh, yeah we'll see what we can get when we get around there it's all about being organized and today I'm really not organized yeah enjoy my coffee on the uh, pier probably wasn't the best idea um, I say I just sort of looked up and thought hang on a minute the sun's going to go behind the Great Orm and uh, it's going to cut off the lights of the pier so it is a bit of a dash this um, yeah it's sort of taking me by a little bit of surprise but uh, hey ho it's one of those things it's a bit of a learning curve isn't it, I suppose so I'm not far off now I'm just going to head down to this little part of the beach I've seen it from the other side of the pier and it looks like I've got the whole place myself which uh, yeah could be good Whew. But anything today, I'm not really bothered. It's uh, just a case of getting out, getting some fresh air, getting some nice, uh, nice sea breeze. I say sea breeze. It's been mighty windy and bitterly cold, but uh, yeah, it's been, it's been great to get out again and uh, yeah, do what I love doing. Right, just coming to the entrance of the. Uh, well, going to go down the wall now and uh, yeah, head down there. See you in a little bit. So dash over, just heading onto the beach now. We've got this beautiful, uh, beautiful rock formation in the uh, foreground, which you can really work with. So uh, yeah, really, uh, really quite magical around here. Oh, stunning! So if you're coming to land, now, you actually walk past up here, walk past the Grand Hotel. There's a very small section of the wall. It's actually steps that come down, and uh, yeah, it appears you have the beach to yourself. I'm certainly not following the trend when uh, I keep locations a secret. I really don't understand why uh, a lot of vloggers seem to be posting videos recently and uh, keeping the location secret. No, it's a bit of a soul's trick that. No, not this channel. I'll reveal all. Right, so I'm going to set up get the rocks in the foreground hopefully get a little bit of movement in the uh, in the sea as well and uh, yeah just sort of see it whilst we've got the uh, the pier all lit up catch a little bit So whilst I'm just getting a bit of uh, rest from the wind uh, in this sort of like little cave area, I just thought it'd be a great opportunity now to sort of speak to you. So I'm still watching where I'm standing. The uh, yeah, it's still puddles, and I'm, I've only got trainers on. Oh, anyway, I thought I thought it'd be really nice to uh, to sort of just spend a bit of time from this vlog and just sort of really say thank you thank you for all my new subscribers i've got uh, very recently um but also the, the subscribers have been there from the beginning the channel has now hit as you've probably seen a thousand subscribers i never thought this was ever going to happen on this channel not that i was pursuing it massively i wasn't it was not something that i'm doing for a load of subscribers and for you know to be youtube famous or whatever it is but uh, i'm doing it just to record my adventures out something that i can look back on and i can show my friends and family what i do but it really seems if you guys are interested as well and it's really made me think about video photography and sort of what the next step's going to be but the more i get into it and the more subscribers i get and the more 
I don't know, the, the way that I enjoy doing these videos, sort of editing the videos, sort of coming out with nothing, coming out this morning with the, the gear in the back of the car thinking, what am I going to do today? I don't know, I'll go to Land No, I'll create a video, I'll do some images, and just sort of building it all up together is absolutely fantastic process. It's something that, yeah, I've always enjoyed doing, but I never thought it would get to this stage. So I just want to say thank you very, very much for subscribing. Thank you for being there along this journey with me as I come out to these locations and do a little bit of photography, do some video, do some b-roll and then edit it all together to deliver to you guys to watch. Knowing that you guys are watching, knowing that you guys are subscribing and doing whatever else you need to do with these videos is absolutely fantastic and it really, it really helps me to get out and get here, get out to places like this and actually do these videos. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very, very much. Where's this channel going to go from now? Well, it's going to continue exactly the same. Hopefully I'll be able to get out more. Hopefully I'll be able to do a lot more vlogs. Obviously we've all been experiencing really, you know, a load of issues over the past couple of years. I'm not going to go through into that. But yes, I want to get out and explore more and more places. Take you guys with me and just build a real back catalogue of good videos, entertaining videos for you to watch where there's a bit of photography involved as well. So basically, the recipe is not going to change. It's going to be me going out with a camera, doing a few vlogs. I might slip the odd different type of vlog in every now and again, like my last vlog, which was um, track day photography. But the basic recipe is going to remain the same. So thank you very, very much for everybody who's been a part of this channel. It's really, really appreciated. Anyway, enough of this soppy rubbish. I've got work to do. I've got images to take, so I'll catch you in a little bit. Okay, so I've taken a few images uh, just from these rocks now. I'm going to head back on the uh, on the pier, I think, and shoot back into the town. So, uh, yeah, I'm sort of losing light a little bit here. It's getting a little bit uh, a little bit wrong. So the vlogging camera is about to die, the sunset kind of happened, I'm getting freezing cold, so I'm going to head back to the car now, I'm going to take a couple more images on the way back and just sort of see what I can get from the location, um, yeah, just purely an image sort of um, perspective really from now. So I'll, uh, I'll do the outro from home, so I'll, uh, I'll see you there in a little bit, bye bye. <sighs> So it's actually the following day. By the time we got home, got a bath, had my tea, spent some time with Sarah, watched some trash TV, it was time to go to bed. So the last shot you saw was the looking back from the pier onto the town with the mountains in the distance. You get that location on a good sunset and it's absolutely awesome there. I think for a seaside town, Landudno has a lot going for it, certainly as a photographer. You've got the pier, you've got the beach, you've got the town, you've got the mountains, and it's in North Wales. It's just a recipe. Unfortunately, when the light's flat like I had yesterday, it's like anything, it's more difficult. But if you've never been there, it's certainly one to explore. Let me know in the comments if you've actually been to London and what you thought of it as a photographer. So it's probably time to finish the video here. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. It'd be great to have you on board of the channel. As I've mentioned in the video as well, I've already reached a thousand subscribers. So again, thank you to everybody who's already subscribed. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. 
and leave a note in the comments let me know who you are where you're from i'll get back to you as soon as i can so from Lambdudno yesterday warrington today it's time to finish here all the best and i'll see you very very soon bye bye now